Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Wamaida. So today I'm going to take you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 1. Our topic is the Old Testament prophecies about the Messiah. And our subtopic starts with the Old Testament prophecies. Welcome. So we start by the lesson objectives. What do I expect by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to, one, explain the prophecies of Nathan, two, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain the prophecies of Isaiah. Then we have said we are looking at the Old Testament prophecies about the Messiah. Who is a, mess who is a Messiah? Messiah means one called anointed and appointed by God to serve him. So the Messiah is the one called anointed and appointed by God to serve him. What about a prophecy? A prophecy, we see prophecies. A prophecy refers to a prediction of what will happen in future. Then we look at the messianic prophecies. These are the predictions that were made by the prophets to describe the coming of a righteous king who will rule Israel according to God's will. So these are the predictions that were made by different prophets concerning the coming or describing the coming of a righteous king who will rule Israel according to God's will. And we shall see that this righteous king is Jesus. So we start by the first prophecy. It's the Nathan's prophecy. The first messianic prophecy, we look at Nathan's prophecies. Another prophecy, we can find it in the book of 2 Samuel 7, 3-17, and also in Psalms 89, 20-38. Let's look at the, the prophecies that Nathan had. So the prophecy is that God, Nathan's prophecy said that God would ensure that the kingdom of David would last forever. Nathan's prophecy it was about that God would ensure that the kingdom of God will last forever. Then another also prophesied of an heir from David's lineage would rule. He prophesied of an heir from David's lineage who would rule. Also, he said that David's heir shall build a house of God's for God's name. That David's heir shall build a house for God's name. Remember, David proposed to build God a house. Nathan the prophet was given this mess, was given a message for David. Also, David here shall be God's son and God shall be his father. David here shall be God's son and God shall be his father. David's house and kingdom shall be established for forever so that is about Nathan's prophecy then we look up to Isaiah's prophecy in Isaiah prophecy we can find in Isaiah 7 10 to 16 Isaiah 9 1 to 7 or Isaiah 61 1 to 2 in Isaiah prophecy Isaiah prophesied that the Messiah would be we see what the Messiah Isaiah said about the messiah he said that the messiah would be born of a virgin he said that the messiah would be born of a virgin he also prophesied that he will be called emmanuel emmanuel means god with us also isaiah prophecy he said that a wonderful counselor a mighty god everlasting father and the prince of peace he would be a wonderful counselor a mighty god everlasting father and the prince of peace Isaiah prophecy also said that he will be anointed of God. He will be the anointed of God. Also, we see he sent to preach the good news to the poor, bring liberty to the captives, proclaim the year of God's favor. Isaiah prophesied of an year who will be sent to preach the good news to the poor, bring liberty to the captives, proclaim the year of God's favor. Isaiah prophecy said that there was the Messiah would be the suffering servant. He is the one who prophesied about the suffering servant. He said that the Messiah would be 
a suffering servant. And now finally we look at, let's see those, we have said that Isaiah said that the Messiah would be a suffering servant. Let's look at the characteristic of this suffering servant. He would bear the sins of humankind. This suffering servant would bear the sins of humankind. Another characteristic of the suffering servant is that he would be oppressed, afflicted, despised, and rejected. Those are the characteristics of the suffering servant. Another thing is that he would be mocked, wounded, and spat on. That he would be mocked, wounded, and spat on. Another characteristic is that he was an innocent. He would be an innocent of sin, yet he would be treated as a criminal. Those are the characteristics of a suffering servant. Then he would be pierced and wounded in the sides. He prophesied this characteristic of the suffering servant. He would be pierced and wounded in the sides. Also, he was, was crucified with thieves. This Messiah would be crucified with thieves. We shall come to see that. And he was buried in a rich man's tomb. Those are the characteristics of the suffering servant. So now we have looked at the Nathan's prophecy, we have looked at Isaiah's prophecy, and we have looked at the, the characteristics of the suffering servant. I have an activity or some question. Explain Nathan's prophecy about the Messiah. Question to explain Isaiah's prophecy. Then that's the end of our lesson. And on to our reference references, you can look on to Secondary Christian Religious Education Student Book 2, KLB third edition. Thank you for joining us. For this and more, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You may also find us on YouTube, LMU TV, Facebook, LMU TV, and on Twitter at LMU TV underscore KE. See you next time.